some events are impossible to keep under control because the events develop so fast that there is no opportunity to intervene. Of all these conditions has been met, many moves to be made is useless because the inevitable process has begun and the end is approaching. This is the situation in Russia-Ukraine war. The issue of rebellion, which has been on the agenda for a long time, has come up once again these days, according to the allegations soldiers in the Russian army are preparing for a major revolt. Moreover, this rebellion information is not limited to soldiers in the Russian armed forces. According to the allegations, different groups working within the Russian army are also preparing for rebellion. So, what are the allegations in these subjects? Let's take a look together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to convey our evaluations and reports on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. The Russia-Ukraine war has turned into the deadlock. Both armies are fighting an incredible battle. The Ukrainian army has great faith and determination behind its struggle. On the other hand, the Russian army's struggle is more forced. The coercion comes from the Russian Federation leadership. Every day, hundreds of, hundreds of Russian soldiers are losing their lives because of the Russian war leadership and the Russian leadership. The fierce fighting around Obzivka is the worst of the Russian soldiers. The Russian army has a strong defense line, has worn out the Russian troops with its struggle. In recent days, the Ukrainian army has allegedly been trying to cut off the supply routes of the Russian army and put the Russian soldiers in an even more difficult situation. According to the allegations, the Ukrainian army has been partially successful in this because Russian frontline sources are sharing reports confirming these allegations. As we have shared with you, in our previous reports, the Ukrainian army has carried out several successive attacks in recent days, during which the convoys and supply lines of the Russian army were damaged. It is reported that a similar attack was carried out again in the past days and the Russian convoy, which was making a critical supply to the front line, was destroyed. This is precisely when the problems arose. According to reports, this supply convoy contained a large number of supplies and medical equipment. However, with the destruction of this convoy by the Ukrainian army, the Russian soldiers were deprived by these vital supplies. But this was not the only problem, because the Russian command allegedly still had enough supplies. However, the Russian soldiers were sent to the front without food and water. The class distinctions in the Russian army is once again clearly vis visible here. According to reports, the Russian soldiers were very uncomfortable with this situation. A Russian soldier who claims that many of his friends lost their lives due to the inadequate treatment makes the following statements. The combat leadership is supposedly helping us, isn't it? What help? They only feed the commanders. They fulfill every need of the commanders. Dozens of my friends have died here for months in front of my eyes and all of them died of treatable diseases or wounds. The war leadership didn't even give us the supplies to give them first aid. Why are we here? To fight, right? We fight. And what are the commanders doing? They're like tourists. They walk out the doors, give orders, and then disappear. We are exhausted, and we don't have the strength to fight anymore. The Russian soldiers' allegations are quite remarkable. As can be seen, the biggest complaint of the Russian soldiers is the difference in the standards between the Russian commanders and the Russian soldiers. Russian commanders are having a better frontline period compared to the soldiers. And what can this lead to? A mutiny, of course. According to reports, some units within the Russian army have been preparing for a mutiny in recent days. Allegations suggest that this rebellion, if it's a start, will be quite violent. There is an even like allegations that the rebellion have started at some points. One of these points is the Avdivka region. A Russian soldier who quarreled with the, uh, with the commander is allegedly leading in a small scale rebellion. According to local sources, the Russian soldier told the commander that the results of the attacks were worthless and that no attack should be carried out for time being in order to not to lose more soldiers, but the Russian commander did not listen to him. And not only did he not listen, he insulted all the sacred values of the Russian soldier and his family. At the first, the Russian soldier remained calm. However, the Russian commander's insults kept increasing in intensely. Moreover, did this not happen during meeting? The commander had been mobbing the Russian soldiers for a long time. Things had come to such an extent that during the masters, the commander would call the soldier to him and insult and abuse him in front of the other soldiers. 
the Russian soldier tried to be patient because the Russian soldier really believed that he had been sent to Ukraine for a holy purpose. But this belief was gradually diminishing. Therefore, the Russian soldier, who could no longer bear with the commander, retaliated against the commander during the muster. The commander allegedly started to manhandling the Russian soldier again. The Russian soldier first warned him. But when the commander did not learn from these warnings, the Russian soldier attacked the commander. The Russian headquarters turned into a ring. The Russian soldiers who were overwhelmed on the front line and wanted to return home were also mobilized. The Russian headquarters was divided in two, those who wanted to go home and those who wanted to fight. In fact, instead of those who wanted to fight, we can say that those who wanted to make them fight. As a result of the brawl between the Russian soldiers and the Russian commanders, it is reported that many commanders and soldiers were slightly injured. As it is known, the Russian army has troops formed to prevent any rebellion or retreat on the front line. It is reported that these troops intervened in this incident. According to the allegations, the soldier who made the first move on the Russian commander was arrested. However, this is no clear information about his current situation. Experts agree that this situation is not only an example in the Russian army because the fact that the Russian army has been stationary for a long time has created a sense of aimlessness or hopelessness in the Russian soldiers. Therefore, Russian soldiers now want to go home. Because of this insistence of the Russian war leadership and the leadership of the Russian Federation on war, these soldiers cannot go home. According to some sources, we may hear more news of munities of the Russian soldiers in the near future. These sources even claim that these revolts will not be limited to the Russian soldiers. According to these sources, who claim that the potential for Chechen soldiers to revolt is quite high, the situation would be a major disaster for the Russian army. The start of the mass revolts in the Russian army could create a domino effect. This domino would first topple the Russian army and then the government of the Russian Federation. But will the first stone fall? We'll see together. So what do you think? Do you think the number of immunities in the Russian army will increase? Do you think there is a tension between Russian soldiers and commanders? I do. Do you think these tensions could lead to immunity? Let me know in the comments because I read and I care about all your comments.